Another day, the same setup. No, I'm just kidding. It's the same day, it's the exact same setup, but it's a collision video and I'm really excited to share with you that the collision was great. I, I have nothing against collision, it was great. Uh, this is the only time I'm gonna review a show before the actual review. So let's just jump into it. I need to open my notes. Here, we open the notes. We open the show with Jay White versus AR Fox. And this match, friends, didn't have any story behind it except the fact that AR Fox is from the city they wrestled in this show. As long as I understood it, that's why probably he's challenging Jay White. But the interesting part about that match was Jay White won, of course. And after that, a guy in a hoodie came out and he was about to steal the AEW World Championship or the Bang Bang Belt from the Jay White. And it turned out to be MJF, but he couldn't. I don't know why he stopped. Like, he got the belt in himself and all of a sudden the Bang Bang Gang was with his belt and he decided to run away. Probably he was saving himself for the match with Kenny Omega. I don't know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> It was a weird one, but uh, yeah, in the end, Jay White won and MJF is still the champion without the belt. After that, the quick one, the boys versus the guns. Who are the boys? I am enjoying the guns, but who are the boys? It felt like a squash match. Let's talk actually that tonight we had uh, three squash matches. The guns versus the boys, the Samoa Joe title match and the Claudio Castanoli match. Stop with the squash matches. Well, how about this, huh? Let's be honest. The Samoa Joe match was not that much of a squash match. The, the guy was in the ring for like solid three minutes. But again, it felt like a squash match, the guns match, Claudio Castagnoli match. And with that being said, we're covering the whole squash match section. So moving forward, we have the AW Women's Championship match. As I said, Abaddon versus Hikaru Shida, and it was strange. I don't know why this match happened, except the fact that Ab Abaddon won yesterday and she's able to challenge Hikaru Shida, but it was strange because it was Halloween themed. Instead of thumbtacks, they used candy. Uh, at some point, Hikaru Shida jumped off the top road with the broom. Is Abaddon supposed to be a scary character? Oh, what is going on? Please tell me, please. Please, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like this, but in the end, Hikaru Shida won. And yeah, that's all I can say. I'm not disappointed by this match, but I was a little bit confused. Next. Interesting one, because we're gonna see eventually FTR versus Big Bill and Ricky Starks, as I said last week. So we had Ricky Starks versus Dax Harwood. And the only reason Dax Harwood lost was because an interference of House of Black, which was weird. I don't understand what House of Black is doing. Do, do you guys, are we on the same page on this one? Because they returned and they're not picking sides originally, but right now they're on the sides of Ricky Starks and Big Bill and also Another team is returning and they're on the sides of FTR. And I don't understand why we're building that 5v5 kind of situation and why not House of Black are not a thing on their own. A lot of confusion there to be fair, but in the end, Ricky Starks and Big Bill got the... No, they didn't have the upper hand even because on the 5v5 situation they got beaten up by the returning uh, Boo, uh, whatever his name is, and the FTR. So I'm about to say that I'm excited for next week to see what is gonna happen there, but honestly, I'm not that excited because, yeah, I'm really, I'm a huge fan of Malachi Black, or you can say a uh, House of Black, but I love strange booking, strange decisions, strange. Did I say strange? Last but not least, the main event. MJF versus Kenny Omega. Oh my gosh. You should watch that match, guys. You should watch that match. It was 30 minutes of pure joy. 
I have never watched Kenny Omega match from end to end. This is my first time. Oh my gosh, it was so good. At some point, I was not sure who is gonna win. And the only reason I understood who is gonna win is because Don Callis came out. Yeah, yeah, why was he there? Why was he there? So he stops Kenny Omega for winning, that's why. But it was amazing match in the end. They hugged the, uh, MJF and Kenny Omega hugged each other. It was good vibes, nice vibes. I was on my toes the entire time. To be fair, I was expecting Samoa Joe to interfere. I was expecting JY to interfere. I don't know why. But in the end, as I said, I recommend you to watch this match because it is a pure gold in my opinion at least without being said if i was rating aew collision on a saturday i would have given it 7.6 out of 10. yeah i'm always around six seven eight for now this is the situation boys and girls maybe with the time i'm gonna give someone one maybe with the time i'm gonna give someone five ten who knows? Maybe sometimes I'm gonna give negative scores. Who knows? I don't. I just started this because I felt like it. Don't judge. Don't grudge. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you bang, 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 bang next week for Monday Night Raw. Peace.